Hello everybody, welcome back to our 3Z Info channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the new gesture button on Logitech MX Master 4. So the new gesture button got relocated. So in the free Master 3 and the Master 3 XS, it was totally different. So the Master 3S had it somewhere else, but now we have it here. So we do not have to stress about not reaching it because it fits perfectly in my hand. So now I can just click it and use it. So as you guys can see, we have the entire mouse right here. Now the side scroll is a bit more up here and here we have the gesture button. So here we have those two normal buttons that almost every single ergonomic and the gaming mouse have. And here we have the gesture button and here we have the action button. So now we got it covered. Now what we wanna do is we wanna use the new gesture button. So what can we do with it? For an example, we can add smart actions to it. So here we can go to smart actions and go to templates and here find some or create one by clicking create right here. Now you guys can do that and all oh, but I recommend actually using the work mode because here as you guys can see I've already customized it. Let's go back to smart actions and let me activate it. So I have it binded at the new gesture button. So look, whenever I press the gesture button, it will automatically open up the Microsoft Edge and then it will just type in the gmail.com. And as you guys can see, we are in the Gmail in just one click of a button. And it's all due to the new gesture button because I won't use the action ring for such a thing as the work mode. So I can just click one button here as you guys can see I can do it again and that's basically what we can do with it now the second one we can use the actual gestures so let's go back to the app and select our mouse and here as you guys can see I have the smart actions set up but normally it's at the gestures and here we can basically select the desktop left right start menu or show and hide the desktop so as you guys can see i can go over here and hold it like that now i can hold up and i will enable the start so this is also a very cool thing you guys can create your own preset or use for an example the media controls and as you guys can see now whenever i hold it and then push it down then we will change the volume and this is how we can do that now from the media controls we can go over and let's say select windows management and here we can let's say snap right and my app went to the right side so this is how we can do that we can use either gestures or smart actions and I recommend using either virtual desktops or setting a custom one right here at the bottom. And after you set it up, you guys can basically have fun and test the mouse out. So that's it for the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, then leave a like, subscription and a comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.